Hello guys, today we will be addressing overpass defaults and how it can help you gain map control. To start off, we will uh, have a look at how a plane default will look like, which includes just four players. The fifth will normally be some kind of a joker, who will be the one helping get control in certain areas. These are the positions you will want to be in. Now let's have a look at how we can use the 5th player to gain control. In this scenario, the 5th player will be helping the B default player to gain B short control. This is how I like to do it, so coming into the B spray, lining it up just in the middle, uh, going up to around here, you can see the little line on the uh, saddle is quite darker. Let's line up here, let go with uh, near to this wall, and then it will burn B short. After that, coming up to here, you can just uh, line up with the pillar and go up around uh, certain matches here. It doesn't really matter how uh, accurate you are, just a basic left click. So this basically just uh, means that you can see the flash pops around here. So if you fall the top and the CTs decide to slow go up, the flash will prevent them from just rushing through here because the flash will blind them in their, their way coming up here. So uh, most of the players will just decide to fall back and sit and uh, let you have B short. This is how it looks when you do it quickly. You want the flash to be thrown when the, your teammate is in around this area. That means the flash will blue when you are around here. And you can actually, because the flash will be here, you don't have to look away. So you can just pre uh, look this area. And also, if they are boosted, they will be fully blind. So that's a great way to, to get B short. Next area is connector. So this one is very much based on your spawns uh, when coming down here two players. The guy with the best spawns of these two players coming down here will be the one going out and quickly going to the side. So what this does is just prevents from the CT from being aggressive, coming from an aggressive peak with an orb or something like that. If you do that quickly enough, you won't be able to be spotted by the orb. So it has to be done very quickly, really spawn depending. But normally it will look something like this. And then the second guy will wait a bit and then peek out. From here on, I like to have um, the guy in the left side going close so around here, so the Molotov stand just right next to it and have his teammates setting up for a pop flashlight. So An issue about the uh, connector control is that there are a possibility of uh, a B shot flank here. Uh, s often teams do it like a flashbang here and another guy will peek in. So I, f I feel like it's very important to, to have the B guy maybe throw out the uh, Molotov on short and maybe also a flashbang just to have the connector guy's main focus to be on connector don't worry about the flank. Also I like to, uh, when I do this I like to have two players playing close to Molotov and one setting up the flash so you're actually free from the connector so maybe here, waiting for the flash. This way it's easier for you to trade and have your main focuses so the first guy will focus here and here and he will be too totally open for this guy but that also means that it's way easier for this guy to come in and trade. So yeah that's something to, to definitely consider. Next up we have the mid control. Um, for this purpose I often like to have three players with me because the beginning of the round will mainly focus on holding off uh, CT's aggression. So this is also very spawn based so normally the, the guy with the best spawn come in like so and go out to the side. So it's really important to have the 
grenade kind of high up, so that if the CTs decide to smoke and look above the smoke, they will get a nade right into their face. Um, so the first guy throws the nade, stays in an anti-flash position, so that if the CTs decide to go aggressive, uh, he won't be flashed. And then you have the guy, the second guy behind him, uh, playing in a kind of headshot angle. You can also throw a nade if you want. Uh, but the main purpose for him is to just to play passive and look for headshot opportunities and don't overpeak if there should be an OP around the trying to take you up. After you secure that there's no one balloons or in this corner, I like to have one of the mid guys to stand around here and the other guy around here waiting for the long guy to throw a smoke and a flashback. So I'll show you. The long guy will go into this corner uh, and line up uh, here with the uh, basic left click smoke. So this smoke will uh, go towards toilets and um, cover off visions towards mid from the CTs. So there are not a lot of options for the CTs to pick up towards mid. Um, so combined with this smoke, in the same position, so thrown at this map, same position, line it up with the lower um, lock thing here, going a bit up and then a simple run throws flashbang. So this flashbang will actually flash players playing down connector, not if they are in this position though, that's something to have in mind. Uh, maybe you can throw it a bit better, I don't know, but I feel like Normally, if, if their CTs are down connector, they will hold it like, like this if they're peeking out towards mid. Um, but basically, with the flashbang, terrorists can come out here and the other guy from it can also peek out towards um, a short and maybe go down towards connector, have the guy from, from up there to flash down or something similar. But that's basically how I like to, to take mid control. Next up we have A long, so for this purpose we will only need two players. Um, so you have the guy holding mid in this default and you have the joker or the support player with you here. So from the beginning of the round you might throw a flashbang and then go out in this position lining up with the bench going down to this brick and jump throw out. So this smoke will go in here, basically forcing uh, the guy, uh, if there was a guy here with an orb, to either fall back or peek wide. Um, so with this smoke, just a basic uh, flashback, so that the guy close by here can peek out. Something I have in mind is that uh, there could still be players around this way. What I could do is uh, having the second player helping to get long control go into this position uh, and line up like so and a one run throw Molotov. So this will basically burn out this area. Uh, it's don't have to be that perfect in, in your lineup. It's quite easy, uh, quite easy to actually hit it, uh, yeah, correctly. So coming out here on a long, uh, I also often like to throw this smoke uh, from from here, lining up with the left side of the team, and another oh. run throw. Oh, not run throw, just jump throw. So this smoke. Um, loops here, meaning that if you have, if there was anyone here and they decided to fall back, they don't have any visions whatsoever. Still be a guy here, but if you do, if you start off by getting control, bought upon the woods and, and able to get this close, you can have uh, a flashback before that towards toilets to have it cleared out. Um, so with this smoke also, if this should be a guy here, this smoke will make it impossible for this guy to get any help from his teammates. Of course they can throw flashbangs over, but it's a, a bit easier to take him out. You can just 
So I actually have to throw a flashbang and just pre peek the angle because there's no one to support him really. So yeah, that that's how I like to take uh, a one control. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know if you want me to do something similar, as this is the first time I've uh, done anything like this. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.